glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Bulldogs have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few W's, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Sanford Stadium, home of the Georgia Bulldogs, is one of the biggest stadiums in the country and more than 75 years old. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 33-yard line. The Bulldogs know that they can give this guy the ball, Kirk, 25, 30 times a game, and that's great. And if it's working, that's perfect. But also, as a defensive team, you look at him and you go, we don't worry about him too much. We could get burned somewhere else. Well, the defensive coach has told us this week the first thing that they have to do is stop this running game. And when, when you're convinced you have to stop the running game, you leave your defensive backs, especially your corners, isolated one-on-one -on -one in coverage. And if they're smart, they'll try to take advantage of that and try to make some big plays in the passing game, maybe early, and then go back to old reliable, and that's running the football. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Nice run up the middle. Georgia's got a kid who is playing fantastic this year, and he's garnering national attention. And you sit down with this kid, he's very special. There's really no surprise he's among the nation's elite right now. He's going to air it long. Almost intercepted. That's exactly how they drew it up on the sideline, and now they get the ball back. Jamison awaiting the return. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He fields it at the 17. Oh, what a hit. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often does have the ability to make guys miss. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, gave a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. Slings it. He's to the 40. And he shoved out of bounds at the 42. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Mike four, Mike four. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Excellent open field tackle. That'll bring up second and three. Watch two meets off. Watch two meets off. 
After a decent pickup. I think you got to give credit to the big boys up front there. They're able to get this back to room that he needed. First and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Tackle at the 19-yard line. That's a deal of nine in the That brings up second and one. Trying to get a head start there. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five yard setback can do damage to a drive. From the 24 yard line, it's second down. his receiver and that's a first down he's tackled at the 18 Hodges picks him up six yards with a catch that'll bring up third and inches they're one of the loudest crowds in the country and they are on their feet throws it out right to the running back he's taken down at the 12 yard line Six yards. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the twelve-yard line. He's on the run. No one open, so he's going to run. So the scramble goes for nine yards. This is the ninth play of this drive. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. There it is. Touchdown, Tennessee. This kid is a really reliable weapon. You definitely want the football in his hands near the end zone, and he showed you why right there. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Cornhuskers were ranked number eight. Plenty of people doubted them. Fewer people do now. And for Nebraska, their hot streak continues. The Cornhuskers take the 17-point win. The Sun Devils slide out with a four-point win. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Tennessee to kick. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. Tennessee's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Brought down right around the 40. a pitch looking for the corner and they push him out right around the 44 yard line that's a nice job by the quarterback to pitch the ball and it got him a first down
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. And he's taken down around the 32-yard line. defense and right now it's really paying off fires out quickly to the tailback it's all about chipping away at the defense even short yardage completions can have a way of building a quarterback's confidence from their own 41 yard line second down tennessee is up seven He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. He goes downtown. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. White is back awaiting the punt. From the 15. And he's hammered down. The volunteers are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like that. They'll go Brown. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. Lots of three yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Smith on the run. Tackle made at the 17. That is a loss of three yards. Chucks it downfield. Finds the junior. Brought down in the open field. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. left finding his tailback he's brought down in the open field that makes it second and two And down he goes at 
at the 22. quarter of play we've got a low scoring defensive battle on our hands Tennessee leads it 7 nothing welcome back here we resume action now here in the second quarter He makes his way out to about the 12. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. From the 12-yard line, first down. the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight play, 77 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Georgia is ready to kick it away. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. At the 30, the 50, and they tackle him at the 46. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Nice run there. They'll pick up a first down with that run from the halfback. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry. the left for a nice game. That's good for a game of the yards. That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 27-yard line. And they make the stop at the 25-yard line. Arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Tennessee is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and he splits the uprights. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 10-7, Tennessee. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. Tackle at the 21-yard line. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. 
From the 21 yard line. First down. Tennessee is up by three. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Volunteers. the extra point. Jordy is lined up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Georgia's coaching staff, I've got a thing going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kirk. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running backs just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game. They're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack to be able to put points up. Second down and seven. Ball on the 28. And he stopped behind the line. That's a loss of four yards on the play. Third down. to go long and does. He's got his receiver with nobody around him. The 10. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tennessee is up a field goal. He gets to about the 27-yard line. That's a deep 12 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on their own 27. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Quick pass. He's tackled at the 49. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 49. He'll get it again. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. There he goes. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 36. That's a game 15 on the ball. That makes it first and 10. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. Run, 
He's knocked out of bounds around the 35-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Tennessee has a three-point lead. He's in trouble. Sends it out quick. Intercepted. Has some daylight. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Georgia. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. It's the PAT. Moses has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. run to the left there. Now he pitches it. And he's taken down around the 47-yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. They try to get a head start there. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Tennessee's going to take their first time out of the hat. Second down and six. Ball on the 44-yard line. Pumba! It's scooped up by the offense. And they'll get him in the backfield. Now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. Catches it and he's punished. Coker picks him up six yards with a catch. That brings us fourth and seven. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20.
This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The Bulldogs' offense normally predicated with the ground game, but today it's the passing game that's working it's for been, them. It's been a big surprise, Brad. I mean, we all expected to see this star running back have a big game, but it's been nice to see the versatility of this offense and see this passing game step up. Fires quickly to the tight end. They'll bring him down around the 24-yard line. That's four yards on the play. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Georgia is up four. his second catch for six. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. And he tacks on the extra point. A short two-play, 80-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot. And they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. It's been a well-fought game as we head to the half. 28-17, Bulldogs. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Neither offense ran into anything that suggested any type of trouble for them in the first half, both running up and down the field pretty much at will. Did you get the sense, David, that the, that the defenses were a little tentative, that they, they were a little a little shell-shocked by what had happened, and if so, what do they need to do to change that in the second half? It's hard not to get that sense when the offense just goes shoo, 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 up and down the field, up and down the field, and has success, but, you know, it, it's interesting. If you're going to continue to give up points, and you know your offense is continuing to score, why not get aggressive on defense? I mean, don't sit back, don't let them dink and dunk, don't let them run the football. Bring some guys up in the box, play some man coverage. If you're going to give up points, and you know you're scoring at a high clip, Go for the gusto, baby. Try to make some big plays. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nestler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He takes it right side for a good game. That's a game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Down he goes, around the 40-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Hold it out there, check it out, stop that. Let's go deep. Yeah, nine. Motion, motion, motion. Good job, good job. He's got an opening. Makes it out to about the 49. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. 
Tackle made around the 42-yard line. Throwing on the run and he pulls it in. And he is drilled at the 40. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. He fights forward to about the 39. And he's level at the 49-yard line. Not a good decision there. Why'd he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. From their own 49-yard line, first down. ground with the tailback and he's tackled right around the 40 there's a strike complete brought down around the 36 yard line that makes it second and six. From the 36 yard line. Second down. He scrambled. And he's set. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. come he gets sacked on the play Brad not only did they give up a sack here but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard if I'm an offensive coordinator or especially an offensive line coach I'm getting a hold of my offensive line making sure these guys are on the same page and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there the sack makes this a fourth and very long Jamison is back awaiting the punt. And he's taken down at the 20. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And they make the stop around the 22-yard line. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Gets to about the 31 yard line. Gain of nine yards. First down. Three down, three down. Mike four, Mike four. Tackle around the 27 yard line. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away, you just need to execute better next time. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Get 
gets out to around the 35. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Hands it off. They'll drop him for a loss. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. They'll make the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So the sack makes this a second and long. Taken down around the 23 yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third and long. Right and left, right and left. Three down, three down. Mike, Mike, 51. Mike, let's go. Throws it deep. Catches it. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Bulldogs. That's his third touchdown pass of the game. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And he converts the extra point. to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He's tackled at the 46. I love this wide receiver. I know what he can do catching a football, but man, oh man, he's trying to get in line to say, hey, I want to carry the football. He's trying to push that starting running back out of a job. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Nice run, and he's brought down. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And he almost has the INT. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance. But that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Makes his way to about the 38. That's good for a gain of nine yards. First down. Make 
second and four. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. They'll get him for a loss. When you're an option quarterback, you get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. The Volunteers had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. One more quarter to play, and this one appears to be well under control. The Bulldogs with an 18-point cushion. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He's looking for six. Intercepted. It's the sophomore corner. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From their own 20-yard line. First down. He's taken down around the 17-yard line. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. Decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. From their own 17-yard line, third down. Quick throw out to the receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 22-yard line. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. And this one is a beauty. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. The offense comes out to start this drive, and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. They go to the left for a nice game. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he's hit immediately. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Get up. Get up. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. I really thought the defense had a chance to get their hands on it, but the ball went out of bounds first. That's got to be disappointing. From the 31 yard line. First down. Delayed handoff. He makes it out to maybe the 29 yard line. Lloyd comes away with about two yards on a little draw play. It's a good run blitz by the outside linebacker there. They shut down all the holes and kept this halfback from gaining many yards. tailback and they got him for a loss
third down and they need to get it to the 21. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Offense lines up in a five wide set in a defense anticipating pass here. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Tennessee's awfully happy that talented youngster's on their side. He was highly recruited out of high school because everyone saw him as a potential devastating pass rusher. Ladies and gentlemen, there's number one. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on their own 39. Two down, two down. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike, Mike. Huh? Feeds it to the back. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. No gain. That'll make it third and nine. And a quick throw, and down he goes at the 36-yard line. From the 36-yard line. It's first down. Gives it to the back. He makes it to the 35-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Stop your whining. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. Let's go. Makes it to the 32 yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Tight right, tight right. Two down, two down. Mike, here we go. Mike, Green 90. Green 90. Huh? Huh? They bring the quarterback down. Call the loss of seven yards on the play. That'll bring up fourth and thirteen. Moses is the punter. It's away and it's a booming punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Quick out to his receiver. And he is drilled at the 18. With a quick throw, and they intercept it. The junior safety. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. Tackle made right around the 30.
from the 30 yard line. First down. He's at the 20, makes it to the 17. about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From the 13-yard line, second down. And the ball game's over. And our final score in this one, Georgia 35, Tennessee 17. And the Tennessee Volunteers. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.